Well, I'm moving along on this edition and it's about time to start on the floor. Hey everybody, I'm Bill with Live Simple Live Free. In this room, I finished the sanding and the painting last time and it's now actually starting to look like a real room in our house instead of a construction project that's not finished. I'm excited now because the next thing we'll to do will be the floor. I'm putting on this laminate floor uh, that is white with a little bit of gray marble in it. So here's what I'm using. It's Smart Core Premium Waterproof Flooring and I got it here at Lowe's. It locks together to make it waterproof. Now in eons past, whenever you did any kind of vinyl flooring or linoleum, you had to glue it down. Uh, you had to glue it down if it was one big piece, but especially if it was tiles, you had to glue them down or they would slide all over the place. Not so anymore. This is rigid and it's got a like a pad on the back here and it's got little grooves here. I don't know if you can see that but it will actually lock together. Of course, you're doing this on the ground, not up here in the air like this, but it actually locks together just like that. And that seal forms a watertight seal right there. And then the whole thing just floats, all one piece once you lock it together. And you just tie it in basically by running it up to the edges and putting uh, molding down, floor molding down on it. So it's actually much easier than it used to be to install this kind of thing. And it's rugged, it's solid, it's, it's gonna wear well. Now this floor had some spots on it. Most of this is paint, but a few of them were actually little blobs of spackle that dripped on it from when I was doing the ceiling. So I came along with a, with a uh, blade and scraped them all off, got them nice and smooth, and then vacuumed the whole thing. I wanna get at this thing as clean as possible so I don't have anything underneath it here when I lay it down. And uh, this is going up against the wall, but you don't ever want to trust the wall to get a straight line because the wall, believe it or not, may not necessarily be straight. So I want to get a spacer here so, it, so that it has some expansion room. And then I'm going to draw, put a mark right here. And I'm going to draw a line out here and I'll run it, instead of running it to the wall, I'm going to run it to that line. So now I mark the other side with the same spacer. So there's the line I will run it to. And this is my trap door for the crawl space. And the first piece comes right to the edge of that. I, it looks like I designed it that way. That's amazing. I don't even have to cut that piece. That's exciting. <laughs> so I debated for a while whether I should run these this way or this way. And I finally run, decided to run this way because if I do this, then I had to put in a little piece right here and this is going to be a high traffic area by the door. So I decided against that. So I'm going to do it this way. So these have to be staggered. The, the next seam has to be here in the middle. So in order to keep those seams even, I'm going to have to cut this off right here when I start over there uh, to keep these lines straight.
to lock these in. There's a different shaped lips there on each side. You just put it like that and drop it and it's locked right in place there. Of course, right now everything moves around but after you get a, enough of them in there, they won't move anymore. This is rough on my knees. And I went down to buy some knee pads and they were 50 bucks. I just can't make myself spend 50 bucks for about 100 square feet of floor here. So I guess I'll just survive it. <laughs> Use this so I don't mess up the edge there and drive this uh, seam together and that's what makes it watertight.
Okay, tie it against the door. And this will be covered with the uh, base molding. So I just couldn't take it anymore, especially with my bad knee. I'm doing the flooring in here and around in the bathroom, and I'm also doing all of the kitchen and all of the dining area in there. And so I went and bought these $50 knee pads. They're not the best. I don't really like them, but they're considerably better than no pads at all. So we'll see how this goes. Okay, now this part has gone pretty quickly. I just had to cut, cut those straight off. But over here, every single one of these is gonna to have to be cut. Many of them are gonna to have to be notched around those corners and all that kind of stuff. So this is gonna take a lot longer than this section did. I'm really liking how it's looking so far. This piece where I have to just cut it off straight. I'm just going to score it with a knife. You have to give it pretty a lot of pressure because this is pretty tough stuff. this one I'm going to have to notch this corner so I have to do that with a jigsaw.
So now that I'm at this point with the flooring, there are two things that I need to do before I can lay the next piece in. First one is that I need to fill in this gap, this hole. Um, <clears throat> this is not strong enough. It's not like a piece of wood. And if I just put that on there and bridge that, uh, it wouldn't take long from walking over that to break this all up. So I'm going to have to use what's called floor leveler. It's kind of like spackle just to fill it in and make it smooth, but it, it hardens much harder than spackle does. So um, I'll be doing that soon before I can put in this next piece of flooring and just t taper it all the way out to about here to make it a solid thing. The other thing is I need to remove this because you see this piece <clears throat> it's going to come wrap around here a little bit and come out into this. This is the drain for the washer. So I need to remove the drain for the washer. Of course, as soon as we do that, then we can't use the washer anymore. So that means we're going to have to move the washer over to here, where it belongs, where the final resting place will be. And I'm very excited about that because we've been working towards that for a long time. And uh, it's going to be very exciting to actually get that out of there and make a lot more room here in the kitchen, which is what, one of the main reasons we built this addition. This thing is really heavy. All right, I pretty much got it in place. It's not exactly it needs to go back a little further but it's there and it fits just the way we designed it now I have the plumbing here I don't know if you can see it it's dark back there but the plumbing is all ready and in place but over here you can see how filthy this corner is Wow, I'm out of breath from lifting that thing that was heavy that right there is the electrical socket 220 socket to plug it in so I'm going to have to crawl down underneath it in the crawl space and move that from there underneath and bring it up over here so I can plug in this also there's two reasons we want really wanted to get this out of here one is because we need more room in the kitchen but the other is see that right there that was the hole where the dryer vent went out before I started the work and that was the exterior wall so it vented outside. Once I built the addition I didn't want it going in there anymore so I just pulled it out and the exhaust hose has just been sitting here because I didn't want to put a hole through the outside wall there only to have to patch it later. So with the dryer vent just sitting there all of this lint is gathered back there behind where we couldn't clean it also of course every time you run the dryer it pumps humidity into the house so we are very very happy to uh to get this thing moved so that we can eliminate that vent dryer vent problem so i still have to move the receptacle around and i still have to put a dryer vent that way through the exterior wall to the outside Okay, so this is where the drain pipe used to be for the, uh, the washer when it was sitting here. I've cut that off and uh, I've cleaned this up the best I can. I'll be mixing up the floor leveler and putting it in there to fill in those gaps. I've been debating about what to do with this hole. 
What I should do is cut a piece of wood that size and drop, drop it in there and glue it in place, but I don't have a hole saw that size. And uh, over here, if it's not smooth and you walk on it, the laminate is just not that strong and it won't last, it'll break up. But right here, that's so close to the edge that I don't think anybody will be stepping there or walking there. So I think I'm just going to leave it the way it is and just cover it over with the laminate. It might be a mistake, I don't know. I might have to come in and replace that piece at some point in the future. But I think it'll be all right because there won't be any weight there. Nobody will be walking there. So this floor leveler gets mixed up two parts powder to one part water. And I have to stir it until it's smooth, and then once it's smooth, then I can apply it. It's supposed to dry, according to the instructions, in about 15 minutes. Alright, let's see what happens here. I don't know if I mixed up enough. Okay. I guess I mixed up plenty. I still got that much left. Now it's about a half hour later and this is dry and this tapers down a little bit and I want to make sure that it doesn't do this sort of thing where there'll be a big hole here underneath of the vinyl or the, the flooring so I put this on there and it looks really good there's virtually no gap underneath of there at all which is pretty cool because I knew it had to tape wrap but I didn't really know how far and this was guesswork but it came out perfectly if it was still a, a gap there underneath I would have had to put another coat in to try to level it out a little bit more but this is going to work just fine the way it is and then like I said, this hole is going to be out of the path of the walkway and nobody will step right there. So that'll be okay, I think. That's my phone. I will replace this old grate when I do the rest of the floor. Now this uh, laminate is going all the way out through the kitchen floor, but I'm not going to do that right now. My main goal right now is to finish this room and get it inspected, the final inspection. The old kitchen renovation is not subject to inspection. So I'm going to stop right here, continue on this room, and then I'll do this floor in the kitchen at a later time. Now this edge right here is the locking edge. It has a little ridge that the next one locks into. And I need to protect that or else the next one won't lock into it. So I'm just putting down a transition strip. Yep. This way. This will protect that edge. And then I can uh, just remove it later when I do the rest of the floor.
And there we go, all done for now. Now, I'm pretty sure I mentioned to you that Elizabeth has been in uh, Maine for the past couple of weeks. And when she left, the only thing that I had on here, I think I had finished the first coat of sheetrock and that was it. I've been working very hard and I haven't told her anything of what I'm doing. But since she's been gone, I finished the second and third coat of spackle. I got it painted. I got the floor installed. I got the washer and dryer moved and all the uh, plumbing and electrical hookups. I turned the, the table sideways so there's a lot more room in here. And in the middle of all of that, I also squeezed in a four day trip to Florida where I took down the china cabinet that was there that opens up so much more room in here now instead of being crammed in. We've got that table pushed against the wall, but now we have company. We can just pull it out a little bit and we can easily fit six people around the table. So I think Elizabeth is going to be thrilled with this. And like I said, I haven't told her anything about the work that I've done. She knows I'm working on it, but she doesn't probably think that I've accomplished as much as I have. So I'm going this evening to pick her up at the airport and let's see what she thinks about it when she gets back here. Oh, 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 moth, <laughs> ah, oh, look at this, oh, sweetheart, here, thank you, oh, this is beautiful, and I'm leaning against my washer, yep. and it's in the, the mud room, yep, and it works, I did a load the, uh, yesterday, and, and now the, the dryer vents out, and, mm -hmm. oh, Oh, this is glorious. It looks beautiful in here, sweetheart. Yep. I mean, it's just, it looks absolutely beautiful. The work. floor. The oh my goodness, it's beautiful. Yep, well, I've been working hard. <laughs> you have, oh, thank you. Mm. Oh, thank you. Oh, wow, okay. I guess she likes it. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. Hi, everybody. <laughs> I am, I'm fine. I'm very tired. I just had a very long day. Um, this is beautiful. I love the flooring. Okay, let me set stuff down. Um, the, thank you. The color, it works, doesn't it, hon? Yep. The color works. Yep. And look in there. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Um, I mean, it's, it's just room. This is lovely. Oh, that is so cool. Well, dear one, you got in late last night after a long flight. I hope you slept okay. I'm just glad to be home. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, here we are, it's the next morning. Yes. Now you can see with the sun coming in and everything. So what do you think of our project? I'm, <laughs> I literally walked out this morning and um, you know, there's been a bunch of stuff on the table from construction and all sorts mm -hmm. of things. I literally walked out this morning, the table was clear and I walked in and I got tears in my eyes. She did. And she's been grinning from ear to ear all morning. <laughs> I went out and did laundry and it was so easy. Just walk out there, plenty of room. No, I'm, it, it's, it's just, it's going to be beautiful. And I cannot wait to get a little bit more situated and be able to have people around this table mm -hmm. very easily. So no, I'm, <laughs> I'm thrilled at the amount of work he got done while I was gone and um, I'm every time I come in I, I just have to grin yeah it's just it's, it's working absolutely beautiful and I think once all the flooring and colors and all the doors and all that I think it's gonna be gorgeous huh of course so. you know I still got some stuff to do the main thing is I got a, a little bit more um, flooring to do in the bathroom I haven't done that yet as soon as I'm done that then I can install the toilet and then it's just the baseboard and the trim Put some doors in. And the doors, the, yeah. the closet and bathroom door, and we'll That's be done. so cool. So, and of course, trim, like around that door right there, you know, it still needs mm -hmm. trim, but it's coming. And, you know, the uh, the golden, of course, is that, that same um, nebulous white, which I think is a beautiful silver white, is going to go all the way through um, this, in, this room, too. Right. Eventually, you know, we'll have that all coordinated together, which is going to be, I think, just beautiful. Right. Um, my sister gave me something that she handmade, and I've got it hanging up here on the wall above me. And uh, it's a teapot, and she very—it's very carefully like quilted. It's a 
special kind of quilting technique. Anyway, I just love it. Yeah, when you first look at it, it looks like a painting, but when you get closer, you realize, no, it's that's a quilt. Yes, it's all it's quilt. And um, I'm probably going to take it to Florida when we go down and hang it right beside my cow in the kitchen. <laughs> but um, I just love it. So I put it in here and, and um, you know, I got stuff to rearrange, of course, and everything. But anyway, yes, thank you. Thank you, thank you. I know how hard he has worked. So it's wonderful. And I may mention more about it later, but it was a very lovely memorial for my father um, up in Maine. Which is the reason that she went. Yeah, it was It was basically my father's funeral. He passed on when, like February or March? Yeah, something like that. And then um, it was a real bad time of year um, to get everybody together way up in Maine. So um, we, uh, we actually took um, a lobster boat and went out to sea with a group and um, they had um, had his ashes in a beautiful little container that you just set in the water and it floats and then eventually it just disintegrates and goes down into the ocean and so we he, we watched him just go out to the Atlantic. Of course he had been in the Navy. In the Navy, so. yes, he was in the Navy and he just loved the ocean. Mm -hmm. So I had an opportunity to have a recording to play taps. Um, we all cried. <laughs> it was it was actually a beautiful, very lovely day. And um, so, but that's why I was up there because we, you know, um, just had that little memorial for my dad. So, anyway, it was very nice to um, all the stuff Bill got done while I was gone, and it was very nice to come home to, to all of this. So, and I had a hard time <laughs> not keeping, keeping my mouth shut <laughs> with all the work I was getting done. Driving all the way back from the airport, and he never mentioned anything to me. I, that's why I was gen I was genuine. Uh, when I came in the door, I was totally startled. I'm like, the washing machine is in the other room. <laughs> it was so exciting. Oh my goodness. And then he's got stuff down in Florida now. People have suggested a lot of ways to move things and I haven't had a chance yet. When I get down there, I'm going to be setting up furniture where I want it and getting stuff all situated. But it's wonderful just to have it down there. And this room's much less crowded now. So anyway, good job, but, sweetie. Yeah, thanks. By the way, the last video that I did was the trip, my trip to Florida where I took some furniture down. And a lot of people on that, fur on that video are saying, I need to move this piece of furniture this way or that way or whatever. I have no idea, I just delivered it. <laughs> I just set it there, it'll be up to her to rearrange yeah, um, everything once she gets there. Yeah, it'll all be there and I can figure out how I wanna make things look symmetrical and balanced and um, and the outside of the house looks like it's kinda of gonna be white but it's really, it's called slush and it's actually kind of a beautiful sandy color and eventually when we get it all done and we have a nice contrasting trim color, I think it's gonna be very Florida-y and I think it's gonna be lovely. I really do, and it'll feel Flor Florida-ish. Yeah. <laughs> Just like my colors inside the house make me feel Florid Floridated. Floridated. <laughs> Florida. <laughs> I never felt Floridated before, <laughs> having to do with anything but my teeth. Anyway, okay. Okay, dear. I think it's time for us to sign off. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm still a little tired and slap happy. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this video. I really hope you enjoyed Elizabeth's surprise and the way she reacted to it. I sure did. <laughs> it was wow. Yeah. yeah. So thanks for watching, everybody. Live simple. Live free. You be blessed. Yes. We love you guys, and we will be seeing you soon, and I'm glad to be home. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>